Amazing. Welcome. Hello and welcome to today's class, How Dietitians Use Meal Planning to Grow Their Businesses. So my name is Abigail and I am the co-founder of That Clean Life. And this over here is Evita and she is That Clean Life's dietitian in residence. So we are so excited to dive in today's class where we're going to be talking, sorry, we're going to be taking a look at three successful dietitians and showing you how they have used meal plans to attract more clients, increase client success, and ultimately really grow their businesses. So if you've ever been to one of our webinars before, you know what we do. We want to get this party started right away. I see it's already going on in the yes, chat, which is lighting awesome. Up. That's so great. So please open up the chat box where you see two. There's a little blue box. I want you to turn that to everyone so that everybody can see what you're saying. And I'd love for you to introduce yourself to us and each other. So let us know where you are tuning in from and what type of health professional you are as well. And I know I scanned the registration list before we went live here. I know we have a ton of awesome health professionals tuning in. So let's connect. Okay. We've got I, lots of dietitians. It's going so fast. I can barely nutritionists, see. Yes. Yeah. Holistic nutritionists, health coaches, <laughs> homeopaths, a huge, different bunch. Yeah. A lot of dietitians, nutritional coaches, nutritional therapists from Stockholm. Oh my gosh. All over the world. Amazing. That's incredible. Los Angeles, Kenya, Las Vegas, London, Ontario, London, UK, Los Angeles, somebody else. That's awesome. Okay. Qatar. We, I, I always love how global our community is. This is really great. So keep those introductions rolling in. Um, I would love for you all not to be shy. Just pop in the chat, say hello. And while you're doing that, uh, let me tell you what you can expect to get out of today's class. So first and foremost, we poured a lot of heart and soul in today's class to make it as valuable as possible, because we know we only have a very limited time together. Um, so we want to make this class as impactful as possible. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cover the science behind meal planning and debunk um, some of the common myths associated with meal planning. Then we're going to take a deep dive into the businesses of three successful dietitians to show you how they've integrated meal planning into their practices to attract clients, create an incredible client experience, and really grow their businesses. And then finally, we're going to show you how to easily offer meal plans in your business without having to spend hours on them. And the spoiler alert, so at the end of this class, we'll be announcing a very super special offer. So please, please, please be sure to stick around until the end so you can hear more about that. So let me ask you, now that I've seen all of your introductions or most of your introductions roll in here, how do you all feel about that agenda that I just covered? Are you all ready to dive into this class? If so, I would love for you to give us a big let's go in the chat box so we know you're excited, you're tuned in, and you're ready to continue. That is lighting up. <laughs> okay, awesome. This is going to be fun. Okay, so I see lots of let's goes. Let's go. I want to start by introducing myself a bit more. So you've all dropped in such lovely introductions into the chat. So now let us introduce ourselves and give you a bit of a background. So my name is Abigail. I am a registered nurse and I have 14 years of experience in the healthcare setting. So I've worked in long-term care, palliative care, adult and pediatric rehab, surgery. I've done community and public health. I've worked in the transplant unit, infectious diseases, and I did a lot of time in just general pediatrics where is like I learned the most. So all of this to say, I've witnessed firsthand what a powerful role nutrition can play in a variety of healthcare settings. And then in 2017, I shifted my focus to working directly with health professionals to grow their businesses and improve client outcomes by leveraging the power of meal plans. So I've had the pleasure of helping many of you and helping lots of practitioners grow and scale your businesses. And I'm really excited to share some of my insights with you all today. And then I also have here my co-host, Avita. So over to you, Avita. 
Hi, everyone. So like Abigail said, my name is Evita and I'm a registered dietitian with several years of experience working in acute care hospitals and long term care in renal disease, diabetes, psychiatric illness, heart disease, HIV positive care management and intensive care. So I've also worked health technology, agricultural and community and food security sectors. So these experiences and the knowledge I've gained has really built a strong foundation to provide evidence-based and personalized care. And now I help health professionals just like you translate really complex nutrition topics into actionable meal plans for clients to achieve their health goals. And I've seen this firsthand as well of the impact that the that meal planning and nutrition planning can have in a client's experience and their ability to follow through with different nutrition guidelines. So Thank you all for being here today. We're going to turn our cameras off now as we get into the lesson, and I'll pass it back to Abigail. Okay, oh. so yeah. that's a little bit about us. Now, yeah. we'd love to know a little bit about you and your practice. So open up the chat and let us know, do you currently use meal plans in your practice? If so, why? And if you don't, why not? So let us know in the chat. Do you love meal plans? Do you hate them? Fill us in. Oh, athletes love them. Yes, <laughs> that is very true. A lot of clients want them. So we're getting some good comments here. Just starting to depends. So definitely. So as you can see, some dietitians, some nutrition professionals love meal plans. And we're getting some comments there too. A little bit of, there is some still some skepticism. And so some dietitians are also still skeptical about using meal plans and nutrition plans in practice. In fact, meal planning can be quite a controversial topic. So let's address why that is. Some dietitians believe their clients just won't follow a meal plan. Let me know if that's you. Perhaps they've tried meal plans in the past and their client didn't follow it. So they said, forget it. I'm not doing meal plans anymore. Other dietitians feel that it just won't make any difference if they provide a meal plan or not. In other words, meal plans don't improve health outcomes. And then there are some who believe meal plans are just too prescriptive. We've heard dietitians say they would prefer to teach a man to fish instead of creating meal plans for their clients. And of course, there are many dietitians who believe that meal plans are just too time consuming. So yes, there are a lot of misconceptions and myths about meal plans. But what does the science say about meal plans? Do they work? Let's dive into this right now. So Canada's dietary guidelines cited meal planning as one of four important food skills that help individuals choose, purchase, and prepare healthy snacks and foods on a regular basis. Meal planning is also often used as a strategy to overcome one of the biggest barriers to eating healthy, which is lack of time. It's also been shown that meal planning can help manage dietary restrictions related to, diet, to, to, to diseases like diabetes. This study featured in the International Journal of Behavioral Nutrition and Physical Activity assessed 40,554 participants to investigate the association between meal planning and diet quality. The study concluded that people who plan their meals are more likely to have a higher overall food variety and better diet quality. And meal planning has also been found to be particularly helpful for people living with chronic disease like diabetes. In this study, 648 patients with type 2 diabetes were randomized to receive instruction in either a healthy food choices meal plan or an exchange-based meal plan to compare the impact of glycemic control, weight loss, serum lipids, and blood pressure. The study concluded that a simple meal plan is effective in helping patients with type 2 diabetes and maybe even preferable to an exchange-based meal plan as a simple meal plan is easier to teach and easier for patients to understand. We've got a full summary of our research over here. Some other key findings were that meal plans can save time and reduce stress. They also help to eliminate food waste. 
And if you are interested in reading more on the research behind meal plans, this summary can be found on our blog at blog.thackleenlife.com. So back to our original question, do meal plans work? Based on our research, in most cases, yes, they do. Meal plans can help improve health outcomes, make clients more successful, and so much more. And many dietitians have already discovered this. We've seen firsthand that many successful dietitians leverage the power of meal planning to attract clients, improve health outcomes, and grow their businesses. Do you want to see how they're doing it? If so, give us a big yes in the chat, and I'll turn it over to Abigail to dive into our first case study. So we're already getting a lot of yeses. That's fantastic. Awesome. Okay, let's dive into these real life examples. So we'll start by taking a look at Kaylee George, who is the founder of the Healthy Weight Loss Dietitians. This is a team of dietitians and coaches who help busy women lose weight without restrictive eating. So meal plans act as a core pillar in Kaylee's successful business, and she uses them in a lot of different ways. What we really love about Kaylee is that she has kept her services very simple. When you go to her website, you kind of see one way to work with her. She has one signature program called Ditch the Diet. And this is a six to eight month program that has helped nearly 400 women already. So I, we took this screenshot from Kaylee's website and we wanted to share this because here she talks about the six pillars of her Ditch the Diet program. And you'll notice the very first pillar is, a, is custom meal plans. So a big reason Kaylee's Ditch the Diet program is so successful is that she offers custom meal plans that take into consideration the client's macros, their taste preferences, their favorite kitchen appliances, and so much more. As we already just covered, research shows that clients are looking for a more personalized approach, and Kaylee's clients love that they get customized meal plans that take into consideration their unique needs. So Abita did an interview with Kaylee to learn more, and she wanted to learn how meal plans play into the success of her business. And Kaylee was really quick to point out that 90% of meal of people want meal plans. And she said to us, eventually you want to get those training wheels off and teach them how to meal plan independently. But when someone is getting started, meal planning is a really important tool. And you've probably seen this in your own practice. Have you ever had somebody come to you? Let us know in the chat and just say, hey, I just want a plan. Just tell me what to eat. Because we know that sometimes handing a client a list of foods to eat and foods to avoid, it's just often not enough to be helpful. Clients want a meal plan that gives them an easy to follow plan, and they don't want to have to go and figure out everything themselves. I've seen a lot of yeses in the chat, so I know, I know this firsthand. So many health professionals get asked for meal plans all the time. Another key thing we want to point out here is that Kaylee knows that meal plans aren't a long-term solution. So I want to address this elephant in the room. It's a reason why so many healthcare professionals don't offer meal plans. They say they're not a, a long-term solution. Fair. But Kaylee says they do provide a great starting point for her clients. So they're almost like a stepping stone. Meal plans help her clients get the hang of buying and prepping their own food so they can develop meal planning skills that will last them for the rest of their lives. So on top of customizing meal plans for each client, Kaylee and her team also ask for continuous feedback from their clients about their meal plans. So their client will get a one-week plan, and then they ask for feedback on how it's going so they can adjust the plan accordingly. Also, and this is really neat, the type of plan that Kaylee and her team provides to the client varies. So Avita, as I mentioned, you had a really good chat with Kaylee, and I'd really love to turn it over to you now to walk us through the different types of meal plans that Kaylee offers. Absolutely. So obviously each client has different needs when it comes to a meal plan. And many of you said that in the chat box as well. It really depends on your client and what fits their lifestyle. So Kaylee offers three different types of plans. The first plan is what she calls the PPP meal plan. This stands for prep, 
plan and prevent. So this type of meal plan is for clients who have an unpredictable schedule, who eat out more often, or who have limited time for meal prep. The PPP meal plan focuses on planning and prepping for just one meal that the client is inconsistent with, such as, for example, dinner. The second type of meal plan Kaylee offers is what she calls the traditional meal plan. So this is your standard meal plan that outlines breakfast, lunches, dinners, and snacks. It runs for six days to allow for flexibility and to practice the 80-20 rule. That's eating healthy meals 80% of the time and having more freedom with the other 20%. And then the third type of meal plan is the builder meal plan. With this one, Kaylee and her team provide the client with a collection of recipes and a blank meal plan template that they can then use to build their own meal plan. Kaylee explained that her clients typically start on the plan, on the prep plan prevent plan and gradually advance to a traditional meal plan. Once they are ready, they then move on to the builder option where they learn how to create their own meal plans. Kaylee is able to use that clean life to create all three types of these meal plans, and we will show you how that works in just a little bit here. Amazing. So we took this screenshot from Kaylee's FAQ on her website to show you just the level of customization that goes into the meal plans they create. So one of the frequently asked questions that they get is, how do meal plans work for everyone in the family? And I love this question. And Kaylee explains here that they can accommodate a wide variety of needs in their meal plans, including food preferences, culinary skills, and who is eating with the client. So Kaylee and her team are extremely accommodating when it comes to creating meal plans for clients, and that really shows in their client's success. Kaylee also mentioned that meal plans are a big reason that clients stay in the program or come back. So not only do meal plans help with client success, but they help with client retention too. Pretty neat. So now I have a question for all of you. I want you to open up the chat. How many of you are looking to bring on more clients? This is you. I want to say, want you to drop a yes in the chat. Okay, of course. Lots of yeses. Okay. Yeah, so of course, I know this was an obvious question. And I did this intentionally because I want you to tune in. So if you're looking to attract more clients into your practice, listen up because Kaylee actually uses meal plans to attract new clients too. So here's how she does it. Kaylee has a weekly meal plan newsletter called Food Friday, where she sends out a new meal plan to her subscribers inboxes every single week. So obviously these meal plans aren't customized in the same way they are for her one-on-one -on -one clients, but this is a really great way to get ideal clients to opt into her mailing list. And it gives her a way to stay in touch with her community every week while also providing value. And it's a great way to nurture the leads on her list so that they can get to know, like, and trust Kaylee. And as the age old saying goes, People need to get to know, like, and trust you before they buy from you. So nurturing your leads are, is really, really important. So to summarize here, you can see meal plans play a big role in the success of Kaylee's business. Not only do they increase the success of her clients, but they keep clients in the program and coming back for more. They also help her attract a steady stream of clients through both word of mouth referrals and through her weekly meal planning newsletter. Okay, Avita, over to you to talk about our next meal planning success case study. Okay, so next up in dietitians who use meal planning to grow their businesses is registered dietitian Andrea Hardy. Andrea is the owner of Ignite Nutrition and has become known as one of Canada's top gut health dietitians. She specializes in IBS, and meal plans really play a key role in her services. Here's how meal planning fits into Andrea's practice. First, Andrea offers personalized nutrition counseling. Her team works with clients one-on-one -on -one, and meal plans play into their success. 
Next, Andrea and her team offer workplace wellness and corporate nutrition, and meal plans are really great supportive resource in this setting too. Andrea also has self-help resources. She has a section on her website called self-help, where clients can help themselves to what they need. Since Andrea specializes in IBS, many of her clients are following a low FODMAP diet. This can be quite a restrictive and somewhat complicated diet, so providing her clients with meal plans really helps set them up for success. Andrea uses That Clean Life to put together low FODMAP meal plans for clients. She said it is so helpful for clients to see that eating low FODMAP can still be delicious. And we also mentioned that Andrea offers these self-help resources. So here's a look at just a few of the self-help resources offered by Ignite Nutrition. You can see they offer a four-week low FODMAP elimination phase meal plan with a grocery list. There's also a Mediterranean meal plan, a four-week low histamine meal plan, and a four-week PCOS meal plan. These resources range from free to $297. The free self-help resources are a great way for Andrea to build her audience and build trust, which we just talked about how important that building trust factor is. And then the lower cost meal plans are usually around $27. And these are a great way to let clients help themselves to what they need and generate some passive income. We mentioned that Andrea and Ignite Nutrition offer workplace wellness and corporate nutrition. One of their most popular lunch and learns is all about meal planning, where they teach meal planning basics and help participants learn what type of meal planning works best for them, their families, and their lifestyle. So again, you can see meal plans are very much a part of Andrea's practice. They are used in personalized nutrition, counseling, corporate nutrition, and self-help resources. Abigail, back to you. Okay, so before we dive into one more example, how is everybody finding this so far? Let us know in the chat, are you finding these examples helpful? Are you getting some inspiration of things that you could possibly implement into your business? Let us know. Okay, I see a great, super helpful, love it. Okay, thanks, Deborah. Amazing. Okay, so let's dive into one more example of a dietitian using meal plans to grow their business. So I want you to meet registered dietitian, Megan Kober. So Megan is the creator of Metabolism Makeover. So this is a weight loss program that has helped over 3,000 women achieve total food freedom. But Megan's practice didn't start out like this. Originally, she was seeing clients one-on-one -on -one and over time, she developed a system, which she turned into the, I keep tripping over by this word, the met, metabolism makeover program. Perfect. This program, thank you. <laughs> this program started out as a boot camp on Facebook. And over the last four years, it has grown and evolved to the point where Megan now generates $100,000 per launch. And funny story, Avita did the interview with Megan and came back with that number and I was reading it and I said, is this a mistake? Do you mean 10,000? And she said, no, I mean 100,000, yeah. which is absolutely wild. So I'm gonna show you how the numbers um, works out and I'll, I'll show you that on the next slide here. So meal plans play a key role in the success of the program and participants. Megan, Sorry, Megan, Megan runs the metab metabolism makeover six to seven times per year. Each time she has about 350 participants and she charges $397 per person to participate. So the program includes two 30 day meal plans, one omnivore and one pescatarian plan. So giving meal plans in group programs can be a bit tricky, right? We always get asked this. How do I create a meal plan for a group program that needs to help 300 people? Um, and it gets tricky. Um, everybody has different tastes. And this is why Megan also provides swap lists with the meal plan that show participants how they can mix and match foods according to their needs. Another key piece of her program is accountability. 
Participants get weekly email check-ins with her team of registered dietitians and daily email reminders from Megan. And this helps keep them engaged throughout the program and on track. So how many of you dream of having recurring revenue in your business? I'm sure this is another obvious question. You're probably like, of course, Abigail. So if this is you, pay attention now because the way Megan generates recurring revenue after people have gone through her program is really great. So after participants have gone through her 30-day program, they are invited to join M3. This is a monthly subscription service where participants get, can get ongoing access to a training library, ongoing weekly meal plans, monthly clinics with experts, and more. So M3 costs $59 per month to join and allows participants to get continued access to support and meal plans so that they can keep up the momentum that they built when they were in the program. Uh, so Megan offers her 30-day program. And then after she invites her participants to join the M3 subscription service. And then she also sells seasonal meal plans on her website too. So these are generally four week plans, which she charges $79 to download. That these, these self-serve resources are great for those who might not be ready to commit to the 30 day program yet. We think it's really cool how Megan has her process down to a science and how meal planning plays such a big role in her success. So let's recap. She has her 30 day program, which she runs six to seven times per year. When clients complete the program, they're invited to join M3 for ongoing access to meal plans and support. And then Megan also has a shop section on her website where she sells individual meal plans. So Avita, back to you. Let's run a quick recap on what we've covered so far. Yeah, from these case studies, you have seen how meal plans allow dietitians to better support their one-on-one -on -one clients, work with more clients through group programs, generate recurring revenue with a subscription service, offer high quality corporate wellness services, set up self-help or self-serve resources, and generate passive income and attract their ideal clients. We've debunked the myth that meal plans don't increase client success. Meal plans do have the power to increase the success of clients and provide a personalized approach that improves health outcomes. We've also shown that meal plans do not need to be prescriptive. Kaylee's example showed us how to teach clients how to do their own meal planning, and Megan's example showed us that you can provide a meal plan with a swap guide to empower clients to make changes based on their needs. And you've seen firsthand how meal plans can help scale your nutrition practice. They can fit into your business model in a variety of ways that helps you attract clients, work with more one-on-one -on -one clients, and become more profitable. Now, with all three of these dietitians we reviewed today, they all have different business models. The one thing that they all have in common is that they use Stackling Life to create their meal plans. So if you are all up for it, what we would love to do next is take you right into That Clean Life to walk you through how these dietitians quickly bring beautiful meal plans to life without having to spend hours on them. So how does this sound to you? Give us a yes in the chat if you'd like to see That Clean Life in action. All right, we've got a lot of yeses and a lot of thumbs up. That's fantastic. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. So this is what That Clean Life looks like when you just sign in. Um, this is your dashboard, your homepage, where the latest and greatest of things happening in That Clean Life are shown. I want to dive into the first example, which was Kaylee George and setting up clients to do their own meal planning. So one of the options for meal planning that Kaylee provides is that builder option. So this type of meal plan teaches clients to do their own meal planning by providing them with a collection of recipes and a blank meal plan template. So as an example client, I'm going to say that Kaylee has an example client. Her name is, let's say, Bianca. And Bianca needs easy to prep recipes. 
that she follows a kosher, she follows kosher eating practices and has a daily calorie goal for weight management. She's worked with Kaylee for a couple of weeks, so is ready to start doing her own planning with Kaylee's feedback. So with That Clean Life, you get access to a lot of recipes. So right now we have over 3,700 recipes, and this number is growing weekly as we add recipes to our database weekly. And all our recipes in our database are made by our in-house recipe developers who are also health professionals. In order to filter through and look through these recipes, we have almost a hundred ways to filter these recipes. So you can filter by time, number of ingredients, various tags, for example, cultural cuisine, like Indian inspired, Asian inspired, Middle Eastern, African, Caribbean, Latin, or different dietary conditions, low FODMAP, low histamine, low oxalate, maybe even um, exclusions that you want to have in there, dairy-free, gluten-free, egg-free, corn-free, or cooking methods like one pan, slow cooker, pressure cooker, or even meal types like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. For Kaylee's um, clients, let's say, who wanted easy to prep recipes, I can quickly find our one pan tag to find those recipes that just need one um, pan or one cooking pot to create those recipes, and then add in our kosher tag to find um, recipes that meet this dietary uh, requirement. And you can also filter by nutrition requirements. So calories, macronutrients, vitamins, and minerals. So for K Kaylee's specific client who has a specific weight goal or weight management, let's say we want to limit the calories to only find recipes that take less than 300 calories. And then all I have to do is hit filter recipes. And this is going to narrow down the recipes that meet Kaylee's client Bianca's needs. So for Kaylee's client, they want a blank meal plan as well as a collection of recipes. So I've started a collection of recipes going. So these are easy to prep one pan kosher recipes that are under 300 calories. I've got a collection of breakfasts, lunches, dinners, and snacks in here. To this collection, all I have to do is add a blank meal plan. There's two ways you can add, you can create a meal plan using That Clean Life. You can start from scratch with a blank empty, empty template, or you can use our automator to generate a personalized smart plan. For this example, I'm going to create a blank plan because I want Bianca to do her own meal planning here using the recipes that I've provided. So here I'm going to call this Bianca's Easy Prep Planning Guide. And then I'm going to add in some smart rules. So the smart rules will help Bianca only see meal, only see recipes that are kosher and use one pan. All I have to do then is hit create plan. Add this to that collection of recipes that I've already got started. And then I can share this meal plan with Bianca. So that's my client here. So turn on sharing. I'm going to allow edits for this meal plan because I want Bianca to be able to create the meal plan herself using the collection of recipes. And maybe I'll turn off nutrition facts in the beginning so Bianca can see the meal plan without the nutrition facts. And then later on, if she's comfortable with meal planning, I can turn on those nutrition facts. So you have full control on whether your client is able to see nutrition facts, whether they are able to edit their nutrition plan, whether they're able to export it as a PDF. You can also password protect their plans and you can turn on user identification if you want your client to be able to identify themselves and put their name and email address before accessing the plan. You can also add an attachment, so maybe a welcome message or an introduction to your client's meal plan. You can do this by sending them a link, for example, a YouTube video of you introducing the plan or a Loom video or just a link of any resources or products you want them to use in their plan, or you can add some free text or use one of our snippets. So our snippets can be welcome messages or an introduction to how to use their plan. So I'm going to leave a little welcome message for Bianca, and we've already done the work for you. We've created the introductions to the plan. I'm going to select the meal planning guide introduction. This is going to walk Bianca through her plan and how to use a collection of recipes and create her own meal plan. I'm going to create that attachment 
pin it so it pops up as soon as Bianca sees it. And then all I have to do is copy the link and send this to the client. So I'll show you what that looks like when your client opens it. When, the client, when Bianca opens up her link, her shared link that Kaylee or myself had sent, she's going to get that welcome message right away. She can see all of the recipes that I have added to her collection. And she can go into her meal plan and start meal planning from the recipes that were provided. So she can add different recipes. She can mark items as leftover. And remember, we've restricted the um, the smart rules for the plan to only show kosher one pan recipes. So if Bianca, you know, she loves these 14 recipes I've provided, maybe she wants a little bit more variety. Bianca can also use our swap function. And this is going to swap and find an alternative recipe in Backlink Life's recipe database that matches the smart rules of being kosher in one pan and closely matches the calorie and macronutrient requirements or needs of that recipe. So even using the shared function to share meal plans with your client and allow them to do their own editing, this is still going to allow them to stick with their nutrition goals um, by using that swap function because the calorie and macro function will still, um, will still be available in, and still stay within their requirements. So I'm actually going to share this link with everyone in the chat as well. I'm going to copy that over. And if you'd like to go in there, you can also have a little bit of fun playing around with this, with this link and see what it's like as a client using That Clean Life to do your own meal planning. So using the shared function and the allow edits function, you can add recipes, your client can add recipes, remove recipes, swap um, the recipes if they want more variety, increase or decrease serving sizes, and mark leftovers as needed. So using the sharing feature, nutrition facts can be provided or disabled as well. So for this more advanced client, like I said, Kaylee would use nutrition facts as a learning tool, taking into consideration the client's interests and readiness. So that's one way of using meal planning guides for clients to be able to do their own meal planning or setting them up to do their own meal planning. So in that way, meal plans don't need to be as restrictive or prescriptive as they once believed were believed to be. Let's move on to Andrea's Hardy, Andrea Hardy's example. But before I do that, any questions for me, Abigail? Um, there's one question from Kathleen. Um, how would your client know how to use the leftover option or the swap function? So do we yeah. need a video for them uh, so they know how to use all the functions? Yes, I would highly recommend. So in that attachment that I had said, sent, so I'm just going to copy that link over again. So when your client opens up that um, their link, I provide an introduction telling the client how to use the guide, how the grocery list would work, and how meal prep and leftovers would work. But I always recommend, especially if your client is also a visual learner, that you record a video, for example, using a software like Loom, and show your client how, walk them through how to use it. The fun part about using the shared link function too is, for example, whether it's an in-person or virtual consult, you can open up the shared link with your client and walk them through how to use their meal plan how to mark leftovers. I can see some of you are already in there playing around with it. Awesome. <laughs> so you can show them how to use leftovers. Like for example, I'm talking to all of you right now and I can say, hey, you can move this item around. You can mark this as a leftover by clicking this button over here or toggling it over here. You can update the serving sizes by using this toggle, change portion sizes, move items around. This is how you add recipes. This is how you remove recipes. So you can do it in real time during your consults with your client, or you can record a video for them as well. So whatever works best for your client's readiness and, and their learning style. So hopefully that helps answer the question over there. Um, and yeah. as you're having- and We fun, have lots of questions. So I'm yes. um, sorry to interrupt the video. We have tons of questions coming in. If we don't answer your question right now, we are going to have a big Q&A at the end. So as we go along here, don't be worried if we don't get to your question, we will. Yes. Awesome. So I definitely want to get through all of the different ways that our um, successful dietitians use that clean life. And then we're going to dive 
deeper into that Q&A. So hang tight. Also, for everyone um, watching, this um, webinar is also recorded. So if you feel like you might have missed something, don't worry. This is fully recorded, so you can go back and watch it. And we will send the recording after um, with the replay email. So meal planning for specific conditions like Andrea Hardy, there were a lot of questions over there of how does she find those low FODMAP recipes. So again, going back to our recipes tab, I'm going to remove those filters that I had in there. And I want to show you how easy it is to find recipes for a diet as restrictive as a low FODMAP protocol. All you have to do is use our low FODMAP tag, filter recipes, and you can feel some security and safety that there's a guarantee that these recipes meet those low FODMAP requirements. Once you filter down to find exactly the types of recipes or those low FODMAP recipes or whatever diet you're looking for, you can then add these recipes either to a recipe collection like I had previously done. So you could start a low FODMAP recipe collection and add it over there. Or you can create a blank meal plan. So I'm going to create a blank meal plan here. Call this um, low FODMAP plan for Janine. And again, add some rules here for low FODMAP. And you can select as many recipes as you'd like and add these to a meal plan. So over here, I'm going to add this to breakfast. For my client, again, mark leftovers as needed. Or for example, you had a client who's just looking for low FODMAP recipe ideas and they don't need a full meal plan. I can even go in and create a low FODMAP recipe book for Janine. Again, add that tag off low FODMAP. That's just for me to know. And I can add as many recipes as I'd like using the select function to that recipe collection and send that recipe collection to the client to help them feel inspired for low FODMAP eating and also make them realize that low FODMAP, like Andrea does, low FODMAP eating can be really delicious, nutritious, and still include all of your favorite foods. So over here, I've created a low FODMAP recipe book so quickly, literally within seconds by using the low FODMAP tag and adding as many recipes as I wanted to that recipe collection. And then all I have to do is hit share and share that recipe book with the client. You can also use a low FODMAP tag in the automator. So if you didn't want to create a low FODMAP plan from scratch, all you have to do is go to the automator. Again, I'm going to put Janine's low FODMAP plan. Choose the days of the week that you want to have that plan shop for the meal timing. So maybe we'll do three meals and two snacks. I'll just use the low FODMAP tag. You can enter calories and macronutrients if you want, or you can just focus on the specific diet um, that you want to have in there. You can also add in some other exclusions. Like for example, if you know the client is also really sensitive to specifically tuna, you can exclude all options off tuna. I'm just going to move this over here, tuna. And all you have to do is create plan. And the automator will automatically generate a meal plan for you literally within seconds again, using those restrictions that you had put in there. So low FODMAP diet that excludes tuna. Super simple to do it that way. We also have over 100 pre-made templates. All of our templates come, are backed, come with evidence, a meal plan, grocery list, and a beautiful collection of recipes. So for example, for Andrea Hardy, if she didn't wanna use the automator to create a meal plan from, or she didn't wanna use, create a meal plan from scratch, she could also use, just look for low FODMAP meal plans. These are pre-made meal plans that our dietitian created and approved. So filter to find our omnivore and our plant-based low FODMAP diet template. All you have to do is click into it, you can see all of our pre-made templates also come with a prep guide that walks the client through every day of the week, day by day, what they have to do for their meal plan and how to prep for it. It comes with that collection of recipes and that evidence. So the scientific evidence, really important factor here, it tells you and your client exactly why they've, you've included certain nutrients or focused on certain um, key considerations for their plan. So for example, for this plant-based low-format um, diet, focuses on fiber, antioxidants, calcium, iron, and zinc. 
Then you can preview the plan. All you have to do is make a copy of it. So I'm going to call this again for Janine. Copy that plan over. You can fully modify our pre-made templates and then send that over to the client. So again, super simple to use our pre-made templates with our program evidence, which you can add when you hit the shared link. As an attachment, you can add the evidence over there to tell your client why you've included certain nutrients or key considerations. And then I want to go back to the automator and show you, for example, how Megan Kober would create meal, weekly meal plans for subscription service. So we mentioned that after participants have gone through Megan Kober's 30-day meta 30 metabolism makeover program, they are invited to join M3 or Metabolism Makeover Momentum. So this is a monthly subscription service where participants can get ongoing weekly meal plans. So for example, for someone like Megan, who's doing a weekly subscription service, maybe they don't want to create a meal plan from scratch. We don't have enough templates to keep, you know, generating those weekly plans. And she doesn't want to create a collection of recipes. What Megan would do instead is use Automator, like I had just briefly showed you. And Megan could create, um, could use Automator to generate a weekly plan literally in seconds again. So one of Megan themes, for example, is low glycemic, and she offers pescatarian, omnivore, and vegan options. So here I'm going to do a pescatarian a low glycemic plan week one. Again, choose the days of the week, choose the meal types that you want to have in there. Hit continue. I want to show you how that those calories and macros can work in there. So we had a lot of, um, of you in the chat who had said you work with athletes, for example, or anyone who needs to focus on really specific nutrition goals. All you have to do is enter your client's calorie and macro needs. So here I'm going to do 1800 calories and a macro distribution of 30% fat, 40% carbohydrates, and 30% protein. And here I'm going to put, we want specifically a pescatarian meal plan that is also using low glycemic foods. All I have to do is hit create plan. And this is going to create a meal plan for me very quickly that uses, that meets those nutrition requirements off those calorie and macro distribution. And you can see all the other nutrients that are included as well. You have full control over what nutrition facts and information is shown. And you can fully modify the plan that is generated using the automator or using or one of our templates as well. So you can swap recipes, add recipes, remove recipes, change serving sizes, toggle as leftovers, um, kind of make as many modifications as you want in there. So again, full everything is fully modifiable. And whatever type of meal plan you create, whether that's using the blank planner, the automator, or one of our templates, a grocery list is automatically generated with our meal plan, including items that are in the plan, their quantities, and their um, aisle that you would find them or the section you'd find them in the grocery store. So this is fully laid out for your client to make it super simple for them to access. And once you're happy with the meal plan, again, all you have to do is hit share, turn on sharing. You can change our, or turn on or turn off any settings that you want in there, copy the link and send it over to your client. Or you can also export a plan as a PDF. So if you, if you have clients who maybe don't want to access a shared link, you can export the plan as a PDF, include exclusive grocery list, note section, nutrition information, choose a cover page, add a brief, start the export button, and you would get a beautifully branded PDF. And you can do the same thing for our, our collection of recipes. For example, here, all I have to do is export the collection, choose nutrition information or not. You can have a cover page for that maybe an introduction to their meal, their recipe collection or their meal plan. And then all you have to do over here is hit start export and you are going to get a beautiful PDF that is branded with your branding, um, your theme colors, your logo, your business information, and all the meal plan grocery list, or in this case, a recipe collection with or without nutrition information um, as you'd like to see it over there. And you can use this PDF in various ways. You can either upload it to your practice management software, email it directly to your client, um, or even use a PDF as a lead magnet to attract clients on your website, on your social media. So various ways that you can use um, those PDF exports as well. All right, Abigail, let's get into some questions. 
Um, okay, one sec. I'm just going to share my screen. Um, oh, I can't start my screen share. I, mean, I just, yeah, I stopped mine so you can start your share, screen share. Amazing. Okay, so we're going to get into um, a little bit of a Q&A soon here. So we hope that tour of that clean life helped you see that offering meal planning as a part of your services does not need to be complicated. When you use that clean life, you can put together beautiful nutrition plans for clients in minutes. So it really opens you up to a world of possibilities of what you can accomplish with your business. So being a member of that clean life means you get access to over 3,700 recipes and this number is growing every week. All of our recipes have professional photography and like I said, new recipes added weekly. So you as the practitioner are getting more value and your clients can stay engaged and excited. And you've now seen our filters, which as you can imagine, will save you countless hours of time when finding the right recipes for your clients, no matter how complex their needs are. And you also get access to over 110 templates. So these are done for you meal plans. So you have resources at your fingertip fingertips ready to go. So we offer automation, as you've seen, you can easily generate meal plans based on calories, macros, or diet types. And everything, everything that you share with clients, whether you do that through a shared link or a PDF document, um, it's super easy. And the last thing I want to add is that we are super proud to offer world-class customer support. So our team is always here to help you. And I know that for those of you who are members of that clean life here today, you can testify to the amazing customer support that we offer. So we built that clean life to give you as the nutrition practitioner serious superpowers. So our members work with more clients one-on-one -on -one because they save so much time creating their nutrition plans. Our members create materials for their group programs, their online courses, and also build self-libraries. Our members are able to easily create free offers like downloadable meal plans or recipe collections that they can then use to grow their audience and nurture their leads and build trust. And we've also seen many of our That Clean Life members build recurring revenue with things like a meal planning subscription service and recipe clubs. So just for fun, we took everything you get with your That Clean Life membership, all the recipes, all the templates, all the design capabilities, and everything else, all the evidence done for you, the prep guides, everything. And we added up the value. And this all adds up to well over $10,000. But here is the fun part. We don't charge you $10,000 to join That Clean Life. A yearly membership to That Clean Life costs just $600 for an entire year. And if you launch just one successful group program or brought on just one new client into your high-end program, you can see how your membership would not only quickly pay for itself, but also give you a big return on your investment. So if you prefer to join as a monthly member, we do also have a monthly membership and that is $60 a month. So those are our membership options, but don't think that we've forgotten that little spoil alert that we dropped at the beginning of this class. Remember this one? Let me know in the chat, the one where we told you if you stayed until the end, we'd have a special announcement. Well, we're so excited to let you know about the launch of our back work sale, which begins right now and runs until Thursday, August 25th at 11.59 p.m. Yes, that is just two days from now. This is a short, short sale. Our back to work sale offers 20% off our already discounted yearly membership. This means instead of paying $600 for the year to join, you only pay $480 for the year to join. And all of our prices are in USD. This is a huge savings. And over the course of a year, it works out to just $40 per month. So to claim this offer, simply use the link that Avita is going to paste in the chat box. And then if you're not here live, or if you wanna soak this in later, you can also find this link in the replay email that we're going to send you shortly after class today. Folks, as the summer winds down, many people are getting back into their regular routines. They're getting back to normal after summer holidays. And this presents a big, big opportunity for you all as health professionals. 
now is the perfect time to launch that offer or launch that service you've been sitting on. And we're going to make it easy for you to put it all together with that clean life. You don't need to develop your own recipes. You don't need to create your own meal plans. We can help with that. So again, no discount code is needed. Simply use that link that Avita put in the chat box to sign up. And we'll also include this link in the replay email going out shortly after this live class. So as promised, we want to get to all of your questions. The chat box is moving quickly. So what we're going to do is pull questions from the Q&A box. So please, if your question has not been answered, we would love to invite you to open up the Q&A box, type your question in there, and we're going to get through as many as we can now. Fantastic. And so um, Aaron had asked about the list of studies referenced in the webinar. So you can find that on our blog. So blog.thatcleanlife.com um, to find the specific article with the um, list of studies. How easy. Um, it, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, just a question from uh, Delia. How easy is it to customize your meal plans to accommodate for cultural eating preferences? So like I had shown that using our recipe filters, you can find different cultural recipes based on different cuisines, for example, um, Indian or African, Caribbean, Latin, um, Asian inspired, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean. So all you have to do is type in the cultural cuisine, filter recipes, and you can find recipes that meet a specific um, cultural eating preference. From Sajara, will this presentation or slides be available for reference after this session? So yes, the, present, the whole class is being recorded and um, this will be available for, uh, for, watch, for, for, for you to watch as a replay. Um, I see a question from anonymous attendee. What's the legality for non-RDs to use meal plans? So I saw a lot of chit chat about this in the chat box. We cannot give out legal advice when it comes to what you are allowed to do or not allowed to do. It's just not our area of expertise. And I apologize for that. We're not lawyers and we're not attorneys. So my best advice for this is go to your um, school or your regulatory body for the best, most up-to-date information, or even better, a lawyer or attorney, because they're going to be able to give you the best, most accurate response when it comes to what you are and are not allowed to do. Yes, so important there. Then we have a question of can we add our own recipes into this build your own? So yes, absolutely. So using our recipe box, you can add your own recipes. So this includes recipes that might be already on your own blog. You can import that from the website or you can add your own photo title, time, serving size, put in the ingredients, directions, notes, and have your use your own recipes and meal plan with them as you would with any of that clean life's recipes. And regarding do recipes ever get removed from our database? So nope, they might get updated if we have any um, updates to that recipe, but they do not get removed and that recipe database is constantly growing. We have a ton of recipe developers who are fantastic and create this beautiful food photography with recipes that meet different um, dietary requirements. And I'm seeing a lot of questions from our current members about this deal. If you are on our yearly membership, please email us at support at thatcleanlife.com. We will take care of you and make sure you get a good deal too. Or if you're currently on our monthly membership and you want to move to our yearly membership to take advantage of the savings, then you can use this same link. And Avita, if you don't mind posting it in the chat yes. just one more time, um, you can use the same link to upgrade from monthly to yearly. And another bonus that I also want to mention is if you either are a current member or you're thinking about joining this week, in addition to that awesome financial bonus that Abigail mentioned, we also provide world-class customer support. And next week, we are having a coaching call to get you started with using That Clean Life to teach you how to create simple and affordable meal plans. So you definitely want to sign up this week, take advantage of those, that's those savings, but also get that extra support use from um, our coaching call with our customer success lead in order to get started with using that clean life. Okay. Um, Avita, do you want to turn our cameras back on just so yeah. everybody knows we're still here and can see us? And do you mind just stopping your screen share so I can share the information about the offer? Yes. Okay. All right. Should be back there. 
Do you see it okay, Avita? Yes, I do. And um, oh, if you can actually stop sharing and, and just switch to audience mode. There we go, perfect. Okay. Um, all right. Let us see what other questions we can get through here. We want to get through as many as we can. Um, okay, so Marilou, you're asking if there's an easy way to save descriptions to reuse. Yes, there is. Please email us at support and we will hook you up with the instructions to save um, commonly used descriptions. Yes, that's a great question. Um, and what options are there for uh, people who have limited access to food and full cooking facilities? So all of our recipes are made in home kitchens, not in professional kitchens. So we can guarantee that they are um, using different or appliances that are typically available, but you can also filter to find um, appliances that are easily accessible. Like for example, the one pan, slow cooker, pressure cooker, or you can also filter um, based on including ingredients that you know your client has access to and number of ingredients to keep those recipes or meal plans simple and affordable and easy to prep. But you want to be there for that coaching call next week where we really dive into how exactly you can do that. Um, Aaron is asking, can we create our own recipes and upload them to that clean life? Yes, you can. So you have access to your own personal recipe box where you can enter your own recipes. And then Sarah says, when creating a free weekly meal plan marketing strategy, what style of meal plan do you use? A full seven day plan or just breakfast one week and snacks the next? It really depends on your strategy. Um, I would also recommend checking out blog.thatcleanlife.com where we have a ton of, of information on, on what the best way to create free plans and lead magnets is. But we typically recommend a three to five day meal plan um, to get, give them a little bit of a sneak peek, get them to like and trust you. And then you can build from there um, once they are a paid client. Yeah. Um, I saw a lot of questions come in about marketing. Um, we have a really great blog post called how to market your meal planning services. It's on our blog, blog.thatcleanlife.com. And if you can't find it, just email us at support at thatcleanlife.com and we can send you the link. And yes. the same goes for pricing. Um, I see a lot of pricing questions. We're not going to go into any of that today, but if you need help with your pricing, go to that um, blog.thatcleanlife.com slash pricing. We did a full analysis of uh, what different types of health professionals are charging for their meal planning services. So you can get a lot of inspiration from that. And if you need those links right away, I've popped the marketing and the pricing oh, links into the chat. Okay, I'm seeing more questions coming in about this um, bonus offer. Is it extended to already subscribers? Yes, so if you're currently on our monthly membership, you can use that link to upgrade. And if you're currently on our yearly membership, email us at support at thatcleanlife.com so we can apply it to your next year's um, renewal. And we just got a wonderful message from Carol who says she loves using That Clean Life. It's been amazing. Been using it for two years, a game changer. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, and again, Back Clean Life can help you in so many different fact or parts of your business. So there's, um, again, blog.thatcleanlife.com if you want to find out more information on how to use it for lead magnets or different parts or different services. Selena's asking, are all the recipes designed for American clients? What about UK clients, cups or grams? So Selena, in your account settings, you can choose from different units of measure. Um, I will say all of our recipes are developed and tested here in North America, but you can change the units of measure so you can display things in grams if you'd like. We also have US and US metric. Yeah, so, so diff that's different completely customizable there. Yeah. And Susanna just asked, do you have specific meal plans for athletes? So yes, we do have um, specific pre-made templates for student athletes, as well as different calorie and macro goals that are already pre-made, but using our automator creating from scratch is really, uh, really simple to create those plans as well. Blair is asking, how do I keep clients motivated to use the software? I find they often fall off and don't log in for months. So my best advice there, I'll share mine and Ovita, maybe you can share yours too, is to keep in close contact. So we saw this with Kaylee George's case study and also Megan Coburn. The reason why their programs are so successful is because of the accountability. So with Kaylee George, they're checking in with their clients after within every meal plan. So once the client gets their meal plan, they check in and they're like, how's it going? And they're like, oh, I don't like this or I don't like this. So they adjust it. And so that next week meal plan is even better. And then with Megan Kober, she has accountability built into the program so that clients can expect um, to be checked in with every day or every week. 
So I would say up your level of accountability there. Exactly. Getting feedback on the plans and guidance that you provide is key to make sure that your client is is able to follow the guidance that you're giving and able to follow through in order for them to stay engaged. I also really find it helpful using our sharing feature for our meal planning is to help your clients do their own meal planning so they build that accountability and they feel more involved in the process. Um, Dorothy is asking, my clinic wants to take advantage of the sale. How will I link that offer to a new email? Um, we'll be sending out an email after this live class with the link in it to get the offer. And if you need the link, just email us at support at thatcleanlife.com. Perfect. And Selena says, can you edit the recipe? So yes, everything in That Clean Life is fully modifiable. This includes our meal plan templates as well as our recipes. So you can copy any recipe over and fully modify it, including changing ingredient names, changing serving sizes, the title, whatever you want to have in there to make it um, make it useful for your client. Um, next good questions are kind of similar. So Claudia is asking, are the recipes offered in other languages besides English, like French or Spanish? So right now that clean life is in English only. And then the next question is from Nikki, who's asking, is there a regional option? So in UK, can you change egg plant to aubergine? And right now we don't have a way to do that, to translate every um, ingredient type to a different word. Um, but that is a great suggestion and it is on our list of things that we'd consider to tackle. Absolutely. And anonymous attendee says, can you please review how leftovers work? Um, so when you mark an, and, and are they included with the shopping list? So our shopping list fully considers whether you've marked an item as a leftover. So it won't include it in the grocery list. It only will take into account the quantities and, and the types of ingredients that are included in the original recipe. So it is all done for you. You're not going to make any errors when you uh, create your plans with the grocery list. The grocery list will fully consider leftovers and serving sizes to get those quantities and types of ingredients done correctly. Okay. I see lots of questions still rolling in. I see we still have well over a hundred of you still tuning in right now. So let's keep going with these questions, Avita. Sounds good. So Claudia is asking, how are nutrition facts calculated by your recipe developers? So our nutrition facts are not calculated by our recipe developers. It's all done programmatically. Um, so our nutrition information is sourced by Food Data Central. So we pull in all the nutrition information and a computer does all the analysis of the nutrients, which is by far way more accurate than a human doing it. Trust totally. me. Totally. And we there. will double check as professionals before <laughs> recipes go out. Um, so myself as a dietitian will um, check that the tags are correct, that the ingredients and we have um, our developers too to make sure that these recipes work in any home kitchen. But you can be rest assured and feel comfortable knowing that the recipes work, nutrition information is accurate, and the tags attached to every recipe is also accurate. Okay. That's a, that's a really good point. I'm glad you touched on that. So Avita's eyes and Tabitha's eyes, and sometimes even mine, our eyes are all on the recipes before they're published. Um, so, okay. Next question is, can clients buy the software themselves? I love this question. How can you deter them or help them realize it's best to hire someone to assist you instead of trying to figure it out themselves? So let us tell you, and Avita, you can attest to this because mm -hmm. you're often the one getting these emails that we get questions every day from individuals looking to use that clean life by themselves, but they it's priced in a way that it makes no sense for them to do it. This is priced for a business um, type of customer, like a health professional who's using it with clients. On top of that, most clients don't even want to figure this out themselves. If they get into that clean life, you saw all the filters and the leftovers and stuff. They don't want to do that. They want it done for them. And that's why they're going to come to you for this. And this is your superpower that you can provide them with it. And I always use the analogy, think of it like a gym and a personal trainer. So you can go to the gym and you can work out and try to figure it out on your own, which a lot of people do. But a lot of people go to a personal trainer to learn how to do it properly. And in this case, you're the personal trainer, you're the nutrition professional, and people are going to come to you if you market well and position yourself well, because they know that you're the expert and you can help them achieve their health goals a lot faster than they could on their own. So please, that is the absolute wrong mindset to think that somebody could just bypass you and come to that clean life. Um, no, <laughs> just position yourself well, prove your value. And that's, that's a mood point. 
Exactly. I'd say you as a health professional are the expert in this area for a reason, and your client is coming to you for that. Um, it's also, you know, you're, if you're specifically meal planning for specific medical conditions or nutrient needs, that's your superpower, and you're going to have that clean life to help you execute and create that nutrition plan for your client. So they would not come right away. Okay, so there's a question from um, Anonymous Tendi. Um, how is navigation on mobile for the client? Is the experience similar to desktop? Um, so yeah, the um, using that clean life can be done on several different devices, whether that's a mobile, desktop, or uh, for example, an iPad or tablet. I would say my best recommendation is desktop just because they can see the full plan and all of the recipes, but they can certainly use mobile as well. It just might be a little bit um, harder to see all of the parts of the plan within one screen. And also any option for white labeling. Um, so you, when you export your plan, your um, it's fully professionally br branded to your branding. And when you're using the shared link, that also shows your business information. So your business name, your name, um, your uh, photo, or your logo for your business. So it does have your branding there as well. Amazing. Okay, so we have gone ten minutes over. I only see six more questions. Five more actually sitting in the chat. I'm sorry we didn't get to them. We should wrap things up. I just want to take some time to remind you of the bonus offer. So our back to work sale starts now. If you'd like to take advantage of this, the link is in the chat and we'll be sending it out after this class. And again, I can't emphasize this enough because I don't want any of you to miss out. This offer does end this Thursday. So in just two days from now at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So this is a short, short sale. We want to get you back into that clean life, back using it. Um, um, and gearing up for this busy season, back to work, back to sale. So I hope everybody enjoyed today's class. I hope you took a lot out of these case studies and seeing kind of the science behind meal planning and how your colleagues are doing it. As always, if you have any questions at all, we are always here from you. Please don't wait till our next webinar, the next coaching call. You can reach out to us at any time support at thatcleanlife.com. Or if you aren't yet a member, you can reach out to us also at hello at thatcleanlife.com. So again, thank you so much. Thank you, Avita, for being my co-pilot in this class. It was a lot of fun. And we hope to see all of you within That Clean Life working on a group program or your one-on-one -on -one client or whatever else you're dreaming up real soon. Bye, everybody.